Hello and welcome to the True Golf Academy. You've joined me, John Watson. Today I'm at Drayton Park Golf Club and I'm in the green side bunker on the sixth hole. So I've come to this bunker for a reason. It's, uh, it's just short of the green and the green level is well above me. It's a good five feet higher than the ball level. Uh, so I need to really hit something with that close pin as well. I really need to hit something very high that comes down very soft with a bit of spin. So I need that initial elevation. So I just want to go through the changes I'd make from a standard bunker shot when I would need, really need to try and get that elevation, that height. So there's a couple of setup changes I want to run through. So the first thing to do is choose your most lofted wedge, but I'm sure you'll be doing that anyway. So here I've got a 58 degree, but 58 degrees isn't enough. So what we first of all got to do is increase the loft on it by opening the club face. So the idea is to open the club face before you grip it. Whether you do that just outside the bunker before you walk in, or whether you feel comfortable just turning that club face open while you then put your lead hand, your left hand on before putting your trail hand on. So open the club face up, then apply your hands, apply your grip. With your grip, what I want you to do with your trail hand, so for me as a right-handed golfer, my right hand is I want you to really weaken it. Now that means getting your hand more on the top of the grip. So your hand is more on top. You can actually see more of the knuckles on your right hand, okay, for right-handed golf. So I've opened that club face before I've placed my left hand on. And then with my right hand, my trail hand, I'm just gonna put it further over on top of the golf club in a much weaker position. Now that's gonna really help me keep the loft on that golf club. So when we come through at impact, I've got more like 80, 85 degrees of loft rather than the 58 degree that I started with. So open club face, very weak right hand by putting it more on the top of the golf club. The other thing I'm gonna do is take a wider stance than I would normally take. So my target's this way. My body is still gonna be parallel to this, even though the club face is open. I'm gonna take a wider stance than normal and I'm gonna bend my knees so I'm a little lower into the sand. So I'm really trying to squat down and lower my body to lower my hands. That's really gonna help point this club more up to the sky and help me maintain the loft on the golf club on the way through. So we're trying to lower our hand position and we've done that by going wider with our feet, more knee flex, dropping my hands down. So there's a couple of setup changes there. It's the open club face, the weaker grip, wider with my stance, more knee flex to really lower my body down into the sand. Now, because I've got so much loft on the club, the only swing change I need to make is there needs to be a little bit more speed on the way through because the energy is going to be sending the ball upwards rather than forwards. So uh, I've got, what, a 15-yard bunker shot here. So with the club face in a, a slightly open position, I wouldn't need as much speed, whereas with a very open club face position, I'm going to need a little bit more speed, a little bit more commitment. Now, I try and feel that is on the way through. What I don't want to do is rush my backswing. So for me, I always like to feel slower on the way back, smoother, allowing me to accelerate on the way through. Let's give it a go. So I've opened that club face, placed my left hand on, weaker with my right hand, more on the top of the golf club, wider stance, squat down. So I'm bending my knees a little lower and I'm just trying to get this ball as high as we can initially. I got a great deal of height. I actually managed to come up short of the flag there. I got it so high. So what that really needs is actually to get the back to the flag there is a little bit more speed. So let's try one more. It felt good. It felt a good strike. You'll have seen on camera lots of height, just a little bit short on distance. So open club face, weaker right hand, wider stance, more knee flex. Let's give that another go with just a little bit more speed in there. There we go. Got that one all the way out to the hole, pin high, loads of initial elevation. Try those few setup changes. Let me know how you get on with them. It does take some practice before you'll feel confident 
looking down on such an open club face out on the course. So try it in the practice bunker first. Uh, give it a go. It's a real aid if you do hit into these greenside bunkers. You've got a deep bunker. You've got a pin close to you and you need to stop that ball quickly. It's a huge advantage you'll have over your playing partners be able to hit in that high, soft landing bunker shot. Please check out all the other bunker uh, series videos I've done, including bear lies, plug lies, uh, uphill, downhill. They're all on this channel. Check them out and follow us on all the other social media platforms that's coming along the bottom of the screen now. Thanks, guys.